So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again. It's your boy Seth Trav, joined by our YouTube compadre, Kurgis, aka The Rickster. How you doing, buddy? What's going on, man? We're back doing that turtle time once again. This time playing the Genesis classic, Hyperstone Heist. Naturally, we gotta adjust those options. I love it. Oh my god. Genesis compared to Super Nintendo. Which do you pick? Super Nintendo or Genesis? I always like the Super Nintendo uh, version of uh, Turtles in Time. Mm -hmm. um, I like this one too. I just kind of like that one open. Okay. Okay. I was always a Genesis guy. I have a lot more love for this one, I think, That's just because I've spent so much time on it. That's interesting that you say that because I'm more of a Genesis guy. Are you? This particular game, I just like the Super NES version better. I like the storyline in Hyperstone Heist better, but I like playing Turtles in Time more. Because uh, I feel like I've played a lot more Turtles in Time, but at the same time, I'm a Sega guy. <laughs> I will tow that Sonic flag till I die. <laughs> oh no! I hit the button! Now that storyline! Oh. <laughs> now that, that grand story! The comic colors, bro. God, it's been so long since I've held this bean controller for the Genesis. <laughs> Dude, I'm loving the comic colors. I feel like there's more noises in this one, too, than in Hyperstone Heights. Er, than in Turtles in Time. You know, like, I'm getting a lot more- <laughs> Explosions that go nowhere. Oh, I didn't even- I didn't realize I was stepping on that. <laughs> the 
This part is almost identical to the Super Nintendo. Uh, You don't fight Metalhead here, right? No. <laughs> He's gonna keep falling in holes. Come on, man. <laughs> Still run down. Just gonna hang out here. Pull in my stuff. Those pizza monsters still turn up here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I'm wondering how they get below when they're standing on the top. Right? This one we stand on the water. That's it, right? Is that this is what inspired Naruto, clearly. Leather had, of course, the picture of adulthood and dignity. Far too immature to be seen with him. We don't have a fantastic hat like that. It's probably the fact that he has pants on. That's why he doesn't want to hang out with us. He's like, you guys don't know shame. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right? Why did he blow up now? He was a turtle. Made out or he was an alligator. Made out of like leather. Made out of alligator. Made out of alligator parts. And Cajun seasonings. That's how we got his accent was the Cajun seasoning. Oh. So now I'm actually like piecing this game together and understanding like what's actually going on. We are essentially, I think, hopping on our surfboards and going over to China or Japan from New York. So we just had to get through the sewer so we could make it to the ocean so we could get over to Japan. If I'm understanding this rich, deep storyline correctly. Oh. 
Beautiful artwork of the shredder. Now they've got fancy green helmets on and purple boots. Keeping with that Joker theme. Color palette of humor. Huh. Now into this mysterious cave that the boat we were on somehow crashed into. That boat seemed dilapidated. It was all busted. ones of the wood blocks. They're off gray. Ugh. Shot in the back. These rock men are cowards. Right? <laughs> this straight butt shot by the bazook. Yeah, I need that. You look delicious. Mm hmm, mm hmm. It's kicking you. Ugh. <laughs> Where 
Where was he keeping that gun? Yeah. Legitimately looks like he's choking. <laughs> Only to fall on his ass. Yeah, next time he sees us, when he's done exploding. Somebody put him back in the air, I guess. For the billions of pieces he just blew up into. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Somehow I bounce it back at him and still get hit by it. That's fine. Men are exploding in front of me. I'll, I'll leave logic out of this game. Always jumping away to the next area. I remember when I was younger, for some reason I couldn't understand that those were sharp objects up there. And you just keep getting hit by them, and I'm like, why am I hurting? It makes no sense. Arrows come out of these things' faces? Lasers! Of course! <laughs> Where was my mind that I thought it would be arrows? <gasps> I need 
Oh, oh my god. god. Tatsu. <laughs> fight the boys before you fight me. Right, he just tosses arrows at you. Like all day. You got that tail end kill, huh? <laughs> Ninja vanish! Why is that bald man explode? <laughs> you think Shredder is behind the Shredder deity? The uh, giant statue of him with like eight arms? Yeah. <laughs> you think that's where he could be hiding? I'm just gonna venture a guess and say yeah. Is this the part where we have to fight all the bosses again? Yeah, you have to fight all of them again and they're like red now. That means they're hard. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, purple! How oh, vogue! Oh, what the hell! <laughs> right? Oh, good God! It's the hat. I'm too distracted by its hat. Like, where do I get one of those? Yo, dude. Yo. He, he messed us up right there. Oh, good God. Oh. Just throwing those high kicks. The worst dancer ever. And he's showing it all off. Oh, what kind of move? What kind of move? Ah! Stay out of here screaming at his face like it's doing something. Dude can high kick out of any situation. <laughs> oh. 
Rock steady with the super kick party all day long. Yeah, he will. By God. That was super cheap. Right? <laughs> Do that X squad. Can we just kill you? At least he got a fancy shirt now. Tatsu in his dress wear. Changing into his evening formal wear. His Tatsu. Ready for the tough fight. Blech! <laughs> Do I have a score of one right now? Two. Okay, cool. <laughs> right. If you're keeping score at home, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one with one. <laughs> Just give it a little back attack. <laughs> That's all it takes. Swift back attack. There he is. I knew we fought him. In this weird thing. The shit's mousers. I don't know why, but for some reason with him, I feel like he's coughing every time you hit him. But you're like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Like it's a Right? This is teamwork. This is this is the teamwork right here. Good God! Right? <laughs> My DM Elsa. <laughs> the gauntlet. Dead end. The return of the most gaudy lair ever. only five stages, huh? Yeah. You know, when I was younger, it seemed like so much more. I feel like I had to have spent like hours playing this. I'm just struggling. <laughs> I mean, I'm on my last not, life of my first continue. Like, like nah, this is not a pro stream you're watching, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good time, dude, to go through some old school classics. <laughs> uh. That's what I need. Swift shoulder. 
Fallout. Yeah, Fallout. <laughs> This is the kind of glass they use at SeaWorld to hold in whales. It supports the weight of robot thumpings. <laughs> Still just popping out of uh, laundry chutes, as if these robots needed to do laundry. Would a robot go through a car wash to clean itself? That's uh, well, thinking about these robots doing laundry, I'm like, how would they clean themselves? Car wash, I think. All oh, right, the ice dust. <laughs> uh, what was the purpose of these things? Like, why did these even exist? Logically, there's no point of those things being there. They help nothing. Hey, what are the balls for? Like, what are the balls ever for? Just bopping? Just loose boppings? <laughs> are they growing aliens back there? Yeah, right? The advanced planning mechanics of the Sega Genesis. <laughs> the advanced processing. <laughs> I don't like you guys know what a megabyte is. <laughs> it's got one of those. <laughs> Just loose electricity flows through here all the time. Try not to touch it. <laughs> Showing up in his underpants and suspenders. <laughs> Nearly identical moves to the Super Nintendo. Yeah, right? That's, that was water weight he had on. He lost it real quick. So that was just super slimmed down. That's the foot in the foot, I think. When they talk about the foot, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Oh my god, do we need to continue? Oh my god! My level of play right here. Uh, oh, pfft. Double fist from the top. I'm just gonna spit out some bombs. I'm waiting for that fancy kick again. That seems to be reserved for me. Yeah, right? <laughs> But Super Shredder dot dot dot! Grab that.
this elevator smelt that way before I got in here. Just letting you know. Do you work on this floor or? Oh, okay, this, you know, put it up the clock, that's fine. <laughs> 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 Every elevator conversation ever. It, it wasn't me. It, someone just got off before you got in. The floor above me. Don't, don't worry. So, come to this elevator often? <laughs> Going my way? <laughs> Looks like he's blowing air on his, like he's just blowing off his side right now. He's like, oof, oof. Yeah, right? <laughs> the savagery of Raphael. <laughs> that's, a, that's a move. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Just running suicides back and forth. Touch the line. Come back. Go all the way. Touch that line. Those eyes? <laughs> he turned into Kevin Nash. <laughs> oh god. Same bougie moves. Oh, you thoroughbred. They show them fall. Yeah, right? Oh, wow. They do some hardcore judges. They show it. They, they let you know. They, they show you. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> On April's dumbfounded face the whole time. Standing in the most uncomfortable way. Like she was just there. And right? Too. Splinter's on camera like it's no big deal. Just <laughs> hanging out. Splinter's the guy on the street, they ask. They're like, what you see? He's like, I didn't see anything. I didn't see nothing. I saw that dude over there get beat up, though. Who asked me about that? <laughs> Some dude just jumps out of the crowd. Yeah! They did the same thing with Super Nintendo. Yeah! Same kid. And then we fly away on the turtle plane. The, uh, I think it was the Shell Zeppelin, something like that. But this has been Hyperstone Heist. 
Brought to you by the Preach Cast. I have been Seth Trapp. He has been our friend, Kurgis. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel at the link below. And remember to always practice what you preach. Okay.